Hey guys, coming back at you with another unscripted video. I like to do scripted videos, but this is another unscripted video, much like my last one was unscripted. This past week, or in the past few days I should say, I saw something that was kind of odd. Um, a petition to cancel a potential Hideo Kojima Xbox exclusive. And this just, it's weird. It's weird to me. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about why I think it's weird. So that's really all this video is. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. It might be 12 minutes and 42 seconds. That is all I'm saying here. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Okay, folks, so recently it was reported by notorious gamer boy Jeff Grubb that Hideo Kojima had signed a letter of intent to work with Xbox on his next game. And what's funny is that you would think that this move would have hardcore Kojima fans excited. Because what's better, if you really love Kojima, what's better than Kojima with a ton of money put behind him? Because let's be real, Microsoft's a trillion dollar company. So he's got, he's gonna have a lot of money. I mean, just from the Xbox division, he's gonna have a lot of money backing his next project. If this, uh, if this rumor is true. And that should be exciting. That should be very exciting for Kojima fans because that means he gets to let his, his creativity just go completely bananas. And that's awesome. But there is one fan in particular who not only doesn't like the idea of an Xbox exclusive by Hideo Kojima, he is he actively hates it. So much so that he has started a petition on change.org to cancel this potential Kojima exclusive for Xbox. And <laughs> that that is just goofy to me. It's goofy, to be honest. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm just gonna read, I'm just gonna read this uh, petition here. It says, quote, Kojima is betraying his loyal fans. He has been blinded by greed. We must help him come back to the winning side. Please share this petition everywhere. Not everyone has good enough internet to stream games. Not everyone has enough money to buy a new console or build a new PC. Please Kojima, don't leave us. And, and you know what, Before, I'm not gonna dig into this person. I'm not gonna do that because that's rude. That's uncalled for. But I am, he, he pointed out, not everyone has good enough internet to stream games. That's true, that's, uh, that's very true. Not everyone has good enough internet to stream games. Not everyone has enough money to buy a new console or build a new PC. That is also true, especially considering PC component prices right now. Like a GPU is, it's like damn near a thousand dollars just to get a decent GPU right now. And that's not okay. Um, eventually those prices will come down, but right now it's just not okay. And I can feel for what he's saying here because it's true. But the beginning part is interesting. Kojima is betraying his loyal fans. Betraying, he's, he's, a, he's a businessman. He likes making games, and making games is a business. He's a businessman. He's going where he's wanted. If if this is true, like, again, this all hinges on all of these rumors being true. But if this is true, he's going where he is wanted. PlayStation gave him a chance with Death Stranding. Apparently, I don't have the numbers, but apparently it didn't sell well. It's been reported that it didn't sell well and PlayStation doesn't want to give him another chance. Xbox, Xbox is there like waving around the, some money and it's looking appealing to Kojima. I can't blame him. Can you blame him? I, I mean, it only makes sense to go where you want, where you're wanted. It, it, it makes you feel good when you know that people want you. So an Xbox wants Kojima. 
Xbox wants Kojima. Stadia wants Kojima, but come on, Stadia, Stadia. I mean, I'm sure Luna, Amazon Luna wants Kojima, but come on, Amazon Luna. But he he's a businessman. He's going where the money is. And let's be let's be real honest for a second here. This isn't something that Xbox started. This whole this whole uh, idea of of an exclusive. This whole idea of an exclusive. This isn't something that Xbox started. This is this is something that has been done in the industry since the very beginning. Since the very beginning. Like, and PlayStation mastered it. PlayStation mastered it with the PS4. And partially the PS3. They 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 like to take games away from people. They love to do that. Because it makes their platform more appealing. It's it's just business. It's the way it is. Um a great example. Um Project Athia. What's that called now? Forspoken. Um, I'm super hyped for Forspoken. That game looks awesome. I cannot wait to play it on my PS5. But they took it away from it. They just took it away from Xbox. Um, I'm sure Square Enix would have released it on Xbox, but PlayStation came in and said, you know what? Um, that looks cool. How about you don't release that on Xbox? How about you make that exclusive mm, two years? Two, three years. And the same with... Uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Final Fantasy, what's the next one? 15, 16, I don't know. I don't play Final Fantasy. But it's the same thing with all those games. It's like, they would have released on Xbox, but PlayStation came in and said, hey, we'll give you money to make up for the sales you'll lose on Xbox just so you don't release it on Xbox. How's that sound? And to, to their credit, they took the deal. I mean, nothing wrong with that. It's a business. That's You do what you do to make money. It's a business. That's how it works. I don't have a problem with it. I don't think anyone really should have a problem with it. Because that's just... It's competition at the end of the day. And then we move on to this next part where it says, He has been blinded by greed. I already talked about this. He's a businessman. He wants money to make his game. And he's going to go to the place that gives him the most amount of money. That's just the way it is. I got nothing more to say about that. Good on him for doing what makes, for doing what enables him to realize his vision, you know? So good on him. But then we got this next part. We must help him come back to the winning side. Um, that's a little strange to me. This whole console war thing is a little strange to me. I don't quite understand. Well, let me take that back. I understand it. I mean, um, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. When I was when I was younger, I'm 27 now, but when I was younger, like in my teens and whatnot, and um, even even at the beginning of the Xbox One generation, I was a fanboy. I was a fanboy. I wasn't obnoxious on Twitter, like, and I wasn't making petitions, but I was a fanboy. I was a typical, you know, Xbox fanboy. Um, but then I got a, I was I was lucky enough to get a PS4. I got a PS4, I played the games, and I was like, oh, these games are actually really good. I enjoy these. And so my fanboyism kind of, you know, dissipated into nothingness, really. And I was able to start enjoying my PlayStation and my Xbox. And then I got a PC, and I enjoy my PC. You know, then I got a Switch, and I enjoy my Switch. And now I got a PS5 and an Xbox Series X. But, like, I, I, I do all this because I enjoy the games. But I, I truly get it. I understand, you know, especially when you're a teen, you just, you just, it's something to do, you know, it's something to do, it's something to be a part of, it's something to uh, feel connected with, this whole tribalism of like fanboying and whatnot, I get it, but like, but like the winning side, the whole winning side thing, it's like, I don't, now that I'm, uh, now that I appreciate games, no matter the platform, I just don't equate any side with the winning side. I I will tell you that PlayStation had the better generation last year. That's a, that's an undeniable fact. They had the better generation. They put out more quality games, and they sold more console units. Again, I don't care about console sales. I'm not seeing that money. It doesn't matter to me. But the winning side, I feel like everybody 
kind of wins because they're both both sides are competing for our dollar. So wherever you are, whether it's Xbox or PlayStation, if you're enjoying it, then you won. That's just the way it is. That's the way I see it. You know, I don't know. But really, my point with this whole video is like Kojima's not a slave. You know, Kojima's not like he doesn't owe you anything. Like he's he's given like hours and hours and hours and hours of content to to his fans for for them all to enjoy like he doesn't owe anybody anything if he wants to make a game with xbox he's gonna make a game with xbox that's just the way it is if he wants to make one with playstation he'll make one with playstation he could make one with amazon luna like he doesn't he doesn't give a shit if if amazon luna wants to give him the money and the funding to make the game that he wants to make, he'll do it. Like, he doesn't owe anybody anything. He's a human being with free will, and he'll make a game wherever he feels like making a game. That's really all I'm saying with this. So this whole this whole tribalism of like, come back to the winning side, he's blinded by greed, he's betraying his loyal fans. He's not betraying anybody. Sony didn't want to bring him on. I'm sure Death Stranding... I don't know. I don't know how the ending of Death Stranding 2 is. I mean, Death Stranding is, so I don't know if there could have been Death Stranding 2. But, like, I'm sure Kojima probably wanted to expand on that universe at some point. But Sony wasn't really interested, so he's looking elsewhere for his options. And Xbox just happens to be an option. I don't think it's a big deal, but that's just me personally. What do you guys think? I mean, leave a comment on here. Let me know what you think about this potential deal possibly happening. What are your opinions? I would ask what are your opinions on this petition, but I mean, I think it's all around a little goofy. I don't want anybody in here to just rag on this guy or anything. But, you know, what are your thoughts on this deal possibly going through? What would you expect from a, from a possible Hideo Kojima Xbox exclusive? And is that something you'd be interested in checking out? Leave a comment below and let me know what you're thinking. Leave a like if you liked the video. And please remember to hit that subscribe button because it really does help out the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.